Does the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary mean anything for us? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. For centuries, Islam has been impenetrable to every method of Christian evangelization. It has eliminated the Christian faith in many African countries. It is the second largest religion in the world and is growing. Perhaps the only bridge to it is by way of the Virgin Mary. The reason is that Muslims venerate her as the mother of Jesus. They rank Jesus with Muhammad and Abraham as a great prophet, and they always refer to him as Jesus, the son of Mary. The Blessed Virgin Mary is mentioned 34 times in the Quran. In fact, one of the surahs or chapters bears her name. He is the only personal name of a woman found in that Bible of Islam. The Quran more than once affirms the virgin birth. It never calls Jesus the son of Joseph or of any man. Its description of the Annunciation is virtually the same as ours. It calls her most favored by God. And when she asks the angel, also Gabriel in the Quran, he answers, Such is the will of God. He creates what he wills. When he decrees a thing, he need only say, be, and it is. Is it more than coincidence that the site of Mary's greatest apparition in modern times was in a Portuguese village named after Mohammed's daughter, Fatima? Veneration of Mary might well be the only bridge of understanding between the two largest religions of the world, Christianity and Islam. Mary has a special and unique place in our Catholic faith, being a human being chosen to be the mother of Jesus. The queenship of Blessed Mary was declared in the dogma of the Assumption of Mary by Pope Pius XII in 1954. There are many Bible passages in both Old and New Testament that resonate with the Assumption, although not explicitly stated, but woven and connected with each other that the great minds and doctors of Christianity have studied carefully through the centuries. Pope Pius XII formalized the Church's centuries-old tradition and based on Holy Scripture, all glorious is the king's daughter as she enters, her raiment threaded with gold. In embroidered apparel, she is led to the king and declared it as a divinely revealed dogma. Therefore, it is an ex cathedra statement or one delivered from the chair of Peter, that is, by the Pope's authority. The coronation of Mary as Queen of Heaven fulfilled her own prophecy that all generations will call me blessed. It is not a statement of arrogance, but in humble thanksgiving for being chosen out of her obscurity and poverty to handle this great responsibility to rearing the Son of God. Pope Benedict XVI explains the meaning of the Assumption well. By contemplating Mary in heavenly glory, we understand that the earth is not the definitive homeland for us either, and that if we live with our gaze fixed on eternal goods, we will one day share in this same glory and the earth will become more beautiful. Consequently, we must not lose our serenity and peace even amid the thousands of daily difficulties. The luminous sign of Our Lady taken up into heaven shines out even more brightly when sad shadows of suffering and violence seem to loom on the horizon. We may be sure of it. From on high, Mary follows our footsteps with gentle concern, dispels the gloom in moments of darkness and distress, reassures us with her motherly hand. Supported by awareness of this, let us continue confidently on our path of Christian commitment wherever providence may lead us. Let us forge ahead in our lives under Mary's guidance. Yes, I am a Marian devotee. My devotion to our Blessed Mother was introduced to me by my mom. She used to bring me to the chapel every Wednesday to say the rosary and the novena of our Mother of Perpetual Health. Young as I am, I've learned to love our Blessed Mother. It was through her that my faith in Jesus has blossomed. Why? Because I've learned that if I pray to Jesus through Mary, my prayers will always be granted, and that always happens. Praying the Rosary and the Novena of our, of our Mother of Perpetual Help has been my way of life since then till now. Mama Mary has always been my companion. I never will make a decision without consulting her. In every phase of my life, our Blessed Mother is always there. I remember that when I am about to go to college, I know it will be very difficult because of our financial limitations. I pray to Our Blessed Mother that I hope I can graduate as valedictorian so that I can have a free tuition fee, and it was granted. When I passed the board exam, it was also through the Dovina of the Mother of Our Mother of Perpetual Help that pushed me through it and I did. When I'm about to get the right partner in life, 
It was also through our Blessed Mother that I pray. And again, my prayers are granted. Indeed, God is good. We are now mission partners, not only in our family, but to all the people that God has brought us into our life and to all the areas that our Lord has called us to serve. Sam and I also introduced our Blessed Mother to our family. We used to always have our rosary and always told them to bring the rosary everywhere they will go. And I'm sure that now that they have their own families, this way of honoring our Lord through our Blessed Mother is still continuous. In fact, in this pandemic time, we have our family online rosary. And now, it is my conviction and as a gratitude to our Blessed Mother for all His goodness, I would like to share it to the many men and women that they may also experience the love of our Blessed Mother. Thank you, Mama Mary, for being my constant intercessor. Thank you for the love and care through the years. My journey in life has been very beautiful, joyful, and a blessed one. Praise God. We ask her today to intercede for us to Jesus, that we remain faithful to God's call for us to be holy. May we always give our unconditional yes to God in the same way that Mary did. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mama Mary, intercede for us to Jesus. But pray for us too, that we may abide by the Father's will and strive to join you and be rewarded with eternal happiness someday. This we pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.